What do you do when your battery is dead? Let's see what I do. First, I cut the battery with the help of a hacksaw blade. Then open the battery and clean all the internal parts. Then, I built a battery pack using some good 18,650 batteries. It's essential to check the voltage of all the batteries first. Before building the battery pack, we need to understand two types of connections. 1. Parallel connection. 2. Series connection. Let's go over these connections. Here, we have two 18,650 batteries, each with a voltage of 3.7 volt and a capacity of 2000 milliampere. If we connect these batteries with positive to positive and negative to negative, it's called a parallel connection. In this setup, the voltage remains 3.7 volt, but the capacity doubles to 4000 milliampere. Similarly, if we connect seven batteries in parallel, the voltage stays the same at 3.7 volt, but the capacity increases to 14,000 milliampere. Now, let's consider a series connection. We take two 18,650 batteries, each with 3.7 volt and 2,000 milliampere capacity. If we connect these batteries positive to negative, it's called a series connection. In this setup, the output voltage doubles to 7.4 volt, while the capacity remains 2000 milliampere. If we connect three batteries in series, the output voltage triples to 11.1 volt, but the capacity still remains 2000 milliampere. To increase capacity, we can connect more batteries in parallel. For example, if we have four parallel groups, the capacity would be 4 times 2000 milliampere, equaling 8000 milliampere. One more thing to note. When changing the multimeter probe position, the voltage reading changes. For example, if we connect the probe at one point, the voltage might read 7.4 volt. If we connect the probe at another point, the voltage might show 3.7 volts. Understanding this is crucial for BMS, battery management system installation. Now, let's assemble a row of seven batteries in parallel. The total capacity is seven times 2000 milliampere, equaling 14,000 milliampere, with a voltage of 3.7 volt. If we connect two such rows in series, the output voltage becomes 7.4 volt, and the battery pack capacity remains 14,000 milliampere, Next, we spot weld the nickel strips to the battery terminals for a strong joint. Fast forward this part. Next, we take another row of batteries and connect it in series. The output voltage becomes 3 times 3.7 volt, equaling 11.1 volts. Fast forward this part. Now, let's complete the parallel connection. Fast forward this part.
check the voltage as described earlier. This circuit includes the BMS, which provides battery safety features like over-discharge protection, over-voltage protection, short-circuit protection. Check the pinout of the BMS. Then connect the BMS to the battery like this. Finally, we have an output of 12 volts. Now, we connect the output to the lead acid battery terminals, so we can charge and discharge the battery through these terminals. That's it. Thank you for watching and for your support.